This is Carla Aqua Teen Hunger Force, and this is my Stone Cold Lock of the Century. All week. The post-game fracas between Jim Harbaugh and Jim Schwartz was disgraceful behavior from two NFL head coaches. You gotta set an example. What kind of message does that send to your players, Harbaugh? Shaking someone's hand and patting them on the back after a game. No, you fan damn the other coach across the bridge of his nose. So cartilage fragment shish kebab his frontal lobe, thus ending his ability to ever again devise any future game plans against you. And Schwartz should hit Harbaugh low, squaring the stones with a crowd of his skull thus liquefying his manhood. You don't say good game, coach, unless you're also adding the words candy-ass woman and slapping the clipboard from his hand. You tell him, bow down before 50,000 people and kiss my Super Bowl ring, or my Super Bowl ring is going to French kiss you in the brain. Look, I digress. I see the Broncos opening the Tebow era by really airing the ball out this Sunday <laughs> with punts every fourth down. And then John Fox and Tony Sperano could meet at midfield and hug for way too long and tell each other how nice they smell and ask if they each look fat in their windbreaker and nuzzle the nape of each other's necks and then braid each other's hair and talk about how it don't matter who won as long as Sage Rosenfels and the rest of the kids had fun. Coaches, no more post-game kissy face. Get mad. Hit someone. <sighs> I'm sorry, but just because the Dolphins are my stone cold lock in the century of the week don't mean I give a crap. 